Hi, good morning and welcome to my kitchen and cooking with Sally J. Today is Labor Day and um, when I have a holiday I really wish that I could make myself just relax and have fun and enjoy the day. And I told my husband that last night. I said, Bruce, I really want to just have fun tomorrow. But I have two classrooms i got to wash down. Youth is starting back up Wednesday night. And um, laundry, because Monday's laundry day. And what else was there? Um, I don't know. That should be enough, right? But I decided to make a video. And we're going to make a pumpkin crunch cake. I still have that missionary family with us. And um, I thought I'd use this for dessert. We're going to grill chicken. Um, and we are going to go to a cave. Uh, a cave, right. We are going to go to a corn maze. Um, which I've never done before. And take a mini golfing also over to Gong. So that will be my fun for the day. So. Not that you guys need my life story. But what I'm really saying is I don't know how to relax. I wish I did, but I'm happier when I'm busy and doing and moving. And my laundry's just about done. So I thought, okay, let's make this cake. It's easy, it's simple, it's tasty, and fall's coming, and pumpkin, and that whole thing. So I thought you'd enjoy this. Um, it's called Pumpkin Crunch Cake. And really, I'm just going to throw everything together. So you're going to need a can of pumpkin. Electric mixer, you can use your big mixer if you want to. Um, this is just as quick. So you use a whole can of the pumpkin, and if you have your own pumpkin and you um, want to use your fresh pumpkin, that's totally fine. Just use uh, 15 ounces, I'd say. Yeah, 15 ounces. So you have a can of pumpkin. So it starts out very much like... Um, pumpkin pie. I'm going to have three eggs. And there's no pretty order for everything to go in. Just do it. Okay. And one and a half cups of sugar. And the cinnamon, I don't remember. Cinnamon is one teaspoon of cinnamon. trying to think what else it was I was doing, but I try to keep my ironing up. I still iron, yes. I iron my husband's shirts. He likes it. He got spoiled that way. But I got two weeks behind, plus today made three, but I'm just about caught up on that too. And we need a teaspoon of salt. We need a half a teaspoon of salt. I said a teaspoon, but it's a half. Alright, so we get all that and a can of evaporated milk. You're going to take all that and you're going to mix it really well all together. If you skip a day and you do double duty the next day, it don't work. It doesn't work. pan and you're just gonna dump it in okay. for 
first time I had this, I never thought I could get enough of it. It was like, it's, uh, I keep telling myself the pumpkin's healthy, right? Uh, trying to get it more on a level playing with the little one level. Okay, then you're going to take a box of, this is a yellow cake mix, but a spiced cake mix gives it a little bit, um, extra spicy taste. I like either. Um, I think I like the yellow cake better, but they're both good. So you're just going to open up the thing. You do not mix it together. You're just going to sprinkle this on the top. And evenly coat it all the way around. Your oven is preheated to 350. I uh, sit here like talking to myself. It's quiet in my house today. I don't have any children. And I'm sitting there thinking about all those, all of you who might be watching me, who's watching, who's not watching, what are you going to do today, what are your plans? I kind of wanted to go out to the gardens and get them ready for fall too, but Bruce said, Sally, we haven't even had a frost yet, so I guess i got to control myself. I'm getting worse, I think, as I get older, because um, <laughs> we had a wedding here Saturday. Well, before I tell you that, the next step. So the next step is, I always do the butter first, but I think it's the pecans. No, it's not. It's the butter first. Okay, so then you're going to take the butter. Now, I've done it like I saw it done. And I'm doing it this way because I actually like it better this way, but it's much faster if you melt the butter and pour it over. But for some reason, the top part gets crispier if you just slice it and do it this way. And you're just going to line it up all over your cake. Like this, like I'm doing. So I'll go back to my story about trying to calm myself down and... But I'm getting worse, like... I always want, I see stuff and I feel like I got to do it or I want to be a step ahead of the game. And um, so there was a wedding here Saturday and I, the one that cleans the church and we have church on Sunday. And the minute I was done the receiving line, I walked down the aisle and I was immediately wanting to pick the bows up off the pews. But I consciously made an effort like, no, don't you do that. And the candles, I was going to blow them out and take them off the candelabras. And I'm like, no, they're still in that church and don't be doing that. And, and then I look and they all come down to the front for pictures. I forgot all about pictures. So it was a good thing I refrained myself. But that's how I get. So you guys that pray, you need to pray for me that I just chill out. Life is a little too short for me to get so wound up about stuff. And it wasn't a big deal. So we went to the reception and... Um, we had to go into Prescott, and we didn't get back home till I don't know, it was like 6 o'clock. We got supper down here at the trail side, and then went to work, cleaning the church. But I got a good husband that likes to do stuff with me. And all was good. Now see, this here drives me crazy, too, because it takes patience, and I just want to be done. And this is actually a very quick recipe. So this was one cup of butter melted or sliced like this and laid on top of your sprinkled cake batter. And you'll see other space, you know, you can incorporate it anywhere there. you see a space. you get your butter on there you're going to sprinkle it with chopped pecans 
one cup of chopped pecans. It's a good thing I gotta wash my floor because I just dropped a bunch of stuff on it. All right. Uh, go look at my camera to see what you can see. If you can't see it good, I will bring the camera over because I can't tip it to show you. Yeah, I'll bring the camera over. Yeah, so that's what it should look like before putting it into the oven. So now we're going to put it in the oven at 350. You're going to let it cook for 50 to 55 minutes, which means at um, about 20 after 11, my time, we should have the end results. Okay. All right, everybody, we are back to my kitchen, and the cake is ready to come out. And I'm not really sure what you're seeing. I'm doing too many videos, I think, right now. But it's been 50 minutes. <laughs> Once it cools, okay, as you can see, I'm going to put this down. I'll probably bring the camera to the cake. But we will do that. No, I'm not going to pick that up because I end up in a lot of trouble when I do that. So this is what the cake looks like when it's done. Um, it takes a few minutes to cool, and once it's cooled, I'll cut a piece to let you see the scrumptiousness of it. But I hope you do try and make it. So, this is the pumpkin crunch cake all done. It's wonderful. Well, let me just pretend you can taste it with me, but you might want to just go get the stuff and try to make it. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed this segment... Um, just hit thumbs up on the YouTube video. If you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe because that way you just get notified whenever I put up another food video, which I usually try to do once a week on the weekend. Um, you can also find me at Cooking with Sally J on my Facebook page called Cooking with Sally J. And you'll find the full recipe and all the videos of the foods that I've done. So... Hope you try this, hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have an awesome evening. Have a good night.